thanks for stopping by. Robert Kofed with Computer Creations. Do you want to turbocharge the trace feature in Lightburn? I don't know about you, but I sure do. I stumbled on a video that Jeff Fisher did a couple of weeks ago. I'll put the link to his video in the description of this video. And in that video, he shows the process to take a picture and turn it into a vector. And after I've used this process for the last couple of weeks, I can tell you, this is definitely something to have in your toolbox. Um, the uses I can see for this process is, let's say that you have a customer that gives you a JPEG of their logo, and it just doesn't trace very well under the normal trace feature. If you follow this process, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to have a, 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 be able to go ahead and get the job done in creating a usable vector. Um, or maybe you have a picture that a customer provided you that you were going to try to do a picture of it uh, on a piece of wood or something like that. And because the picture has just got too many harsh shadows or something like that, it's just not usable. Um, you're able to capture a lot of the uh, detail and get rid of the detail that you don't want because it's a vector. This process is completely in uh, Lightburn. We don't have to go anywhere else to do this. And I'm, I've got three different examples I'll show you today, and it works pretty darn well. Is it the magic bullet where it's going to work every time? Probably not. But it will give you some options when you need to trace something um, and it's just not working, try this. I think that you may be able to pull it off. Another thing that comes to mind is um, recipes, handwritten recipes, when you're scanning those in. Usually, I will uh, replicate those in Procreate, but I think, and I don't have any recipes currently that I could try this on, but I think this process would work really well with that particular uh, element. So let's jump into Lightburn. I'll show you what I have. Hang in there with me. Okay, this is going to be the first example. This is a fairly clean picture, but I wanted to, to, to show you just a clean example and using the trace feature on both of these on how much more detail you can get with the process I'm going to show you. So the process is once you have your picture imported, so we would go File, Import the Picture, Okay, and here it is right here. We're going to go ahead and right mouse click and say adjust image. And you see this is a side-by-side -side comparison. The thing that you're always going to want to do on most of your images is you're going to want to bring your enhanced radius up. This is to sharpen the image. You can see that we're quite a bit sharper. And it being overly sharpened is a good thing. And then the enhance amount is also part of the uh, sharpening process. And I've found that this slider needs to be just slightly less than the top slider. I brought my gamma down, so the gamma normally starts right here. I slid it down. You can see where it, it just darkens everything and I wanted to lighten up that background primarily, right? Um, and that way I've got kind of a, a nicer, lighter background. The car sticks out, that kind of stuff. And uh, I uh, adjusted the contrast a little bit, lightened up the contrast. And you can see that there's a pretty good difference. The car really sticks out well here where it doesn't here. And I said, okay. Then when I said, once I said, okay, I'm gonna come back in here. Step three is gonna be, I'm gonna right mouse click and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna process this picture as a bitmap. So I, I'm gonna uh, save it and I'm gonna save it to my desktop and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna import that photo that we just generated, that bitmap that we just generated and here it is right here. And this is what I'm gonna go ahead and right mouse click and trace, okay? I haven't adjusted these sliders in either one of these examples. So let's go over the, the, uh, the process again right quick. We're going to import the photo. We're going to right mouse click. We're going to adjust the image. Once we adjust the image, we're going to right mouse click and we're going to um, save it as a process bitmap. Once we save our process bitmap to our desktop, we're going to import that processed bitmap 
and that is what we're going to trace. Okay, now let's take a look and see what the difference is. Again, I didn't make any adjustments in the trace feature for either one of these. And you can see that the, the, the uh, vector on the left is not really usable. It's a basic outline, but there's just not a lot of detail. I wouldn't be comfortable using this or presenting this with a customer. The other thing is it picked up some stuff that wasn't even part of the car. Where this uh, trace picked up the spokes in the wheel, um, you can see the detail on the headlights. If you wanted to clean this up a little bit, you could. You could ungroup it and go ahead and get rid of this, but I kind of like the way that, that looks. And you can see that there's enough detail in this trace image that you could burn that on just about anything and somebody looking at that would know that's what, you know, they would know what they were looking at. So you can see it's real quick, easy. And so let's go to the next example. Okay, this next example, um, I will pop up a picture of the, of the color picture and there's a, some pretty good harsh shadows in this particular picture that you might not be able to engrave if you were just trying to engrave a picture with your laser where you might be able to do an engraving or something like this but again this is just an example so you notice what I did is I came in here I imported the photo I came in I right mouse clicked I said adjust image and <clears throat> you can see that I sharpened this image quite a bit more than the last example because I want to try to bring out all of these different uh, attributes so the edges are caught. And so I overly sharpened this picture even more than I did the last one. I reduced the gamma to uh, lighten it up some and I just adjusted the contrast ever so slightly. But you can see that there's a stark contrast between what we started with and what we ended up with. And so at this point, all I've got to do is say, okay, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, save processed bitmap. So I'm going to turn this into a bitmap. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And then I'm going to import that bitmap here. And this is what I'm going to trace. So I'd go here, trace image, and this is what I'd get. Again, I didn't adjust these sliders in any way. I took the, de uh, the default for both of these. Now, this might be a good example where, you know, you just, you just can't get done what you want and uh, the customer is really wanting some kind of a product. Um, look at the difference in, if we were going to engrave this, what the difference is. This, you can see that there's just huge shadows all along here it kind of ruins the picture because there's no way you're going to recover that if you tried to engrave that via a picture or something like that um, there's just there's just <coughs> excuse me a lot of stuff going on with this picture where here um, a lot of that real dark area is completely gone away you can make out the dog you can make out the gentleman the the truck logo is very apparent um, this is really not usable in my opinion where this certainly could be. And again, just one more example of where uh, this is not going to work. What am I going to do? If you follow this process, you might be able to use this process and get the job done. Okay, the last example I got for you is just a, a uh, headshot of a of, uh, chocolate lab. Um, not the greatest picture, but I wanted to show you because these are the kind of pictures that we get all the time or the customers try to give us. And so there's nothing special about this picture. Um, but what I wanted to compare is, okay, if I just adjusted the picture, generated a bitmap, which is over here, and traced it, used the trace feature on both, what the differences would be. So again, remember our, our process is we're going to import the picture. We're going to select the picture, right mouse click, adjust the image. Remember, we're going to sharpen it. Again, depending on the sharpening will depend on what kind of detail you get. So play with this sharpening amount. If you're going to play with anything, that's probably going to be the most critical thing that you're going to do. I also uh, 
move the gamma over to lighten it up. Again, to get some separation between his features. You can see that this is real flat. There's not a lot going on. The only thing you can, you know, you can see is this ear. Um, so we need to over sharpen it to enhance places like his mouth area, his eyes, uh, some of this back here. And at that point, I said OK. And then I came back in here. I right mouse clicked. I said, uh, save it as a bitmap. I saved that to my desktop and I re-imported it back into Lightberm as a bitmap. And then this is what I've actually traced. And if we say OK, <clears throat> this is the example. Again, I didn't adjust the trace uh, sliders in any way. This is the difference. So this is completely unusable. You'd have to just do a boatload of work to get this to be anything usable. Where this, I might be able to play with just a little bit more. I could ungroup it. I could get rid of this and some of these dark spots. But you could actually engrave that on many different substrates and um, you'd be okay. So as you can tell, it's a... Uh, it's a, it's a bit of a game changer on marginal things where this is not going to work and you really don't or the customer doesn't have the budget for you to spend the time to get it to work where it might be able just to use this process and you're on your way. Well, there you have it. That's the process and I think it's going to be very handy in a lot of different uh, situations. So let's go over the, pro uh, the process one more time. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to import the photo into Lightburn. You're going to select that photo, you're going to right mouse click, and you're going to adjust the image. You're going to apply sharpening, quite a bit of it, and you're going to make sure that your image is in grayscale, and you may play with the gamma to lighten it up along with your contrast to typically lighten up the overall image. You don't want to get it too light, but you want to lighten it up. Once you get that done, you're going to say OK. Then you're going to go back and reselect that same photo and save as a bitmap. You're going to save it to your desktop or wherever you see fit, and then you're going to go back up to the file and import that bitmap image back into Lightburn. Once that image is back into Lightburn, you're going to go ahead and apply the trace to the new bitmap image, and that's what's going to be able to give you a lot more detail. I hope this uh, content helps. If you like the content, I'd sure appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you haven't, I'd sure appreciate that. And if you have the capability, hit that thanks button and contribute to the channel. It's those contributions that are making the difference. Until next time, thanks and have a great day.